This holiday, instead of giving them something nice, why not gift them somewhere nice? During the IHG Hotels and Resorts Cyber Sale, you can do just that and save. Shopping is easy in the IHG One Rewards app, where you'll save 20% on travel across 6,000 plus global destinations. And if you want to gift yourself somewhere nice, go ahead. You'll earn more and save more during the cyber sale. Check out all the deals at IHG.com backslash cyber sale. Terms apply. And we're live. Welcome to Strike Out Bear, the Monday night show. Ho, 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 buddy. We got a good one in store for you. Your host, Alan Rapid Dave. I'm Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? You know what? I'm doing pretty good. Feeling playing. Doing pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. All right. Got a little beer. We're going to drink. Going to have a few. I don't have a good time. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know if you noticed the like the kind of the theme that I had when I went and go. I I did this to myself. Usually, you pick out these kind of beers, and I just kind of have to like suck it up and press on. But here we are. I'm at the store. I'm like, you know, you know what? Uh, let me find a couple of beers. I I saw them. It's like a Martin House Monday. It's got to be Martin House Monday, right? And why did I get like two Imperial beers? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what the second beer you got was because I wasn't able to get it at, at my local um, Kroger. We might but. do that for a uh, for Wednesday then, because yeah, I got to get that out of the fridge like ASAP. I, well, I think maybe because like I've got I've got another Martin House beer that I got two of. You got two of that one, so maybe we exchange and we do it for like another Monday night or something like that. We can do that. But, yes, I just uh, took a slam of my claw. If you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch, you know that's just what I have when I'm I'm greasing up a little bit. I'm loosening up. I'm loosening up, baby. It, it's who you are. I've come to accept you, warts and all. <laughs> um, but we're drinking Hollow Tropic. Oh yeah, Imperial Indian Pale Ale, coming in at a nice, crisp, mild, ten percent alcohol by volume um so martin house actually has words on this one like they typically don't have a lot on there uh-huh. but uh they, they they brought the fire with this one the heat right. uh holotropic adjective oriented or moving towards wholeness that sounds about right if you want to be moving towards enjoying the most delicious ipa holotropic is a juicy ipa we wanted a big ipa with crushable smoothness and we certainly achieved that the cool hops in this bad boy include Cashmere, Mosaic, Comic, Cryo, El Dorado, and Idaho 7. If you're a fan of full flavor, hop forward IPAs with an extra ABV kick, you are going to dig it. Average score of 3.79 out of 342 ratings and uh, 10% alcohol by volume. So. Smells delicious. One, the can art's a, a 40 out of 10. They always are. Like, how do the hell... Like, who does their artwork? I need to know. I, you know what? Maybe we just need to get to the bottom of this and find out who does their artwork because it's phenomenal. It is. Okay. Well, they're watching right now. Tell us who does your artwork. Look at that. Tell us. Tell I mean, us. usually they'd have, like, maybe a marking or something like that, oh, too, but I love their cans. God, they got nice smells cans. smells so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is nice good. Cans. Uh, I mean, I didn't lift it up before I could smell the, the, the hoppiness in it, which is just phenomenal. Mm. The color looks great. It looks it always looks darker on camera than what it is. Uh huh. It's got a nice golden hue to it. It does. It does. Oh boy, this is. Uh, I can already tell you, it's gonna get me in trouble. I told Lizzie, I go, come fish me out of here, no later than midnight. I was like, dude, don't, I was like, don't, don't you do it. I go, come on in there and just be like, hey, are you okay? And I'll let you know if I'm alright. You'll know if I'm okay. Because Blink once if you're okay, she had Blink to do that. She know. she had to fish me out of my brother's house Friday or Saturday night. And then I was just stuck you on the internet after that. <laughs> well, like, what was I doing? <laughs> I was sitting there and I get the alert and I go, well, he's drunk. <laughs> and, and I kick it on and I get, I, I, I just want it to go work. Push. I'm trying to push, button. it's just not, bro. I could get nothing to work. I don't know, man. I just, I just want to play a game. That's it. That's what, I just want to play a game. That's all I want to do. <laughs> oh my god i went through like another beer and a half and i was like you know what i'm done and i was like because i think i was like my first one i was on kick youtube twitch and facebook so i got copyright strikes on two or three of the pages on all of them <laughs> i don't think kick cares they don't care at this point but the other ones i got hit like immediately 
But I was like, okay, so maybe that's why I got thrown. I don't know, man. By the time I woke up, I woke up the next day. I just felt like a, a truck had ran me over. We went golf. We went to Top Golf or Big Shots. One of the Big Shots out in Fort Worth, and okay. just really tied one on with the claws. And then usually I'm like, good, just just go home. I'm ready to go home. And but no, they're like, hey, come on over to the house. I knew they were going to do it. They're like, come over to the house. So like me and my brother, we're we're driving over there. We always separate. The gals take one car and we take the other on the way to wherever we're going. And I remember like stopping and getting like a hot dog and some other stuff. We stopped at a gas station, I guess, to get some beer and some other stuff. So I got like this, <laughs> I got this hot dog, but I didn't do a bun. I just threw like two wieners in the in the c- container. And of course, I always got to pile a bunch of crap in there. What's up, Gary? How you doing? I always got to pile up, like Gary? a bunch of crap in there. Well, I'm in like his Prius. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You you control the comments. Uh-huh. And uh, and I noticed it's leaking. I go, oh man, it's leaking. Because Brandon, just eat it. I go, no nah, man, it's leaking everywhere. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So it's like leaking like you know mustard and like relish and onion juice like all over the the inside of his car. I'm like cupping it like this. And I go, ah, God damn. I, I roll out a window and just chuck the shit outside. And I never, I never litter like ever. There's never a, a good reason to do it, but this. I was like 37 claws in, and I didn't even know what to do. I froze. So I threw perfectly good food out of the car and then proceeded to berate my brother because, you know, the whole wedding. It was like my brother, my younger brother had a wedding. He didn't show up, so I got all upset and shit. And I'm still, you know, it was rough. Once I hit a limit, man, I'm, I'm gone. You know, I, I'm aware. Everything, everything comes totally up. Aware. You know, I'm still not even over my brother, my other brother's, you know, death and stuff. So right. like a bunch of emotions just come out. So, anyways. You know, then we get back to this house, and I just keep going. I'm like, just parties going. The claws, they don't do anything but just get me completely annihilated. But like, they fuel me with energy. Like, I like it. Just, I'm sitting out back smoking a cigar. Don't know where I got the cigar from. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason I remember is because I woke up su- uh, Sunday. What's up, old school? How we doing? The 2.0 version over on uh, YouTube. And uh, I, I wake up and I'm laying in bed. I'm like, oh, my God, did I smoke a cigar last night? God, why do I smoke these things? <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. what, how, what was your Saturday like? Well, at least tell me it was better than that. I don't even remember my Friday. Uh, so, yeah, my Saturday was uh, – what did I do Saturday? Weekend problems. Uh, my Saturday was kind of lame. I, did, I didn't do much. Kiddo had a softball game, uh, worked. That, that was about it. Yeah. Saturday, Saturday was meh. You know, didn't, didn't do much. Chilled at the house Saturday night. Nothing. Oh, we actually, the kid went and spent the night at a friend's house. And me and Liz went and had dinner while the, nice. the other kid was at work. Uh, okay. So we, we went we went out to dinner. I mean, nothing fancy. We went to like Jason's Deli, you know, had a little, had a little pasta from there. Didn't even, little, like, didn't even go to like Chili's or Applebee's? Applebee's? No, man. She, you have a she beer? loves the uh, seafood gumbo oh, was that at what it Jason's is? Deli. Yeah, so she gets a bowl of the seafood gumbo, and then she gets the the salad bar, and she's just she's good. The salad bar is legit. I get that when I uh, when I go downtown and I have to go to lunch, or I go lunch with my boss or something like that. I stop. Eat. We we were eating every single place that was downtown, and I finally go look, dude. We got to chill out. I got, I'm, I'm putting I'm putting on the pounds, baby. And so we started and like I go to the salad bar now, and I just load up. Now yeah. I just remember what my Friday was. Yeah, we had the grandkids uh, dropped off. And they're like, hey, we're heading to Houston tomorrow. I go, oh, okay, that's fine. What? Well, good luck. Have fun with the kids and everything like that. They go, no, they're coming back. Go, what? And so huh? they end up spending the night over here, which was okay. super simple. They, they got dropped off like 8 or 9 o'clock, so they were almost done for the night. And, right. uh, yeah, it turns out I woke up in the morning. I was like, hey, hope the trip. Are y'all doing okay? Y'all make it down to Houston? All right. I go, oh, we didn't even make it down to Houston. I go, you sons of bitches just went out. Like, we just had a lone night. It's like, <laughs> just went home. like, we're going to Houston. We'll be back tomorrow. You're like, okay, I was Houston. Oh, yeah, we didn't. We didn't make it. We just went home and went to bed. We got <laughs> whamboozled. They didn't even get, they went home and didn't even go to bed. They just stayed up till like two o'clock in the morning hanging out and stuff. I'm like, you sons of bitches. You got me. You got me. We're Not going to happen. Watching something on Netflix. <laughs> Jesus. And then so Sunday made it a little bit rough, right? So I woke up. I, slept, I stayed in bed uh, a lot of the day. I was just I was sitting there resting. I had a lot of anxiety. Man, I tell you what, lately I've had a lot just, man, my mind is just going 1,000 miles an hour. And just as I'm laying in bed, you know, and then you start thinking about all the dumb shit you've done. And I just, I've got problems like that right now. But their birthday party that I told you about, right? <laughs> so, I'm excited to hear this story. So you had to drive to like Oklahoma for a birthday party or something? <laughs> Oklahoma is closer than where I went. <laughs> Oklahoma is closer than where I drove to. I went to Sulphur Springs, Texas. I don't even know where that is. It's a hundred like, miles away from here. 
It's Good east. God. It's on its way to Texarkana. I could have probably thrown a damn rock and hit Texarkana. <laughs> Bro, when I tell you, so listen, it, I knew it was coming up. I, it, I knew it was on Saturday or Sunday, and then I found out it was on Sunday. I was like, okay, cool. I go, all right, you know, it's 3 o'clock. You know, I was like, are they going to start on time? She goes, yeah, I wouldn't. I think he'd do the same thing he did last time where he started two or three hours late. So we, <laughs> so we, we roll out there. And we're like, yeah, on our way. I'm like, eh, you know, Lizzie took a little time getting kind of ready this time. And I was like, all right, well, we're on our way. And it says we're going to get there at 3.30. And so he called as we're on our way out there. And he's like, hey, you guys on your way? Like, yeah, we're on the road right now. Okay, well, we probably won't be there till about 3.30. I go, okay, perfect. That's when we're going to get there. He goes, yeah, awesome. we're working on uh, there's some car issue with, like, uh, someone in the house or something like that. We're like, okay. And so as we're getting closer, you know, I think there's another phone call. Hey, where y'all at? Like, uh, we're driving down the road, you know, whatever we're actually, hell at that point, I think we pulled in, we're there. It's like three 30. We're sitting there. Don't see anybody in sight. Nobody. I'm like, are we in the right place? Like they even know where sulfur Springs are. Maybe they sent us the wrong directions. Cause so, so you, you went to sulfur Springs. So you must've went to something that was like very like unique to sulfur Springs, like some sort of like a, maybe like a restaurant or like almost like maybe like showbiz pizza was there as opposed to Chuck E. Cheese or my God, if there was a showbiz pizza there, I would have went. No, right, we went right. to That's a, what I'm saying. So you drove this <laughs> far. It had to be something like very specific I, that you can't get anywhere around here. Exactly. Not even around here, but not around where they live because it's 30 minutes east of where they live. Okay. It's a 30-minute so minute drive. 30 minutes. So, okay. Yeah. So they had like an indoor water park there or – no. No, maybe like a splash pad no. or um, I we, don't know, like one of those big giant like castle playgrounds. It's like humongous, kind like, of, but not really. Yeah, like a like a twelve bedroom castle playground or something like that. Bro, we drove out there to a park. Like how they found this park, I don't know. Like I don't know how the hell they found this park. And on our way, and we were like pulling in, he calls. He's like, hey. She's like, hey, what's up? You know, where y'all at? We're not, you know, oh, we're not, we haven't left the house yet. I go, I haven't left the house yet. And I'm like, listen, I hung over Brandon that has got no patience. And so as I'm sitting there and I can hear the conversation, so I'm waiting, I hear it. And so I'm waiting how Lizzie's going to, you know, translate it for, to me. Like, I know right. what he said. I hear it. I am in the car. I can hear the conversation. And so Lizzie's like, hey, uh. Yeah, we got a. He's asking. He's at Brookshire's right now, picking up a cake, and he he asked if we can go to Walmart and pick up some meat and burgers and dogs because there's going to be a lot of people there or whatever. I go. Wait, you just said he's at the grocery store now. Wait a minute. So then, why doesn't he pick up the meat? And so, I go. I don't know why I'm asking questions. I don't know why I'm asking. Well, then it short. It, it quickly changed from. Eh, we, don't worry. We're going to get the meat. It calls again. We're going to get the meat. Don't worry about it. But can you pick up uh, the drinks? Uh, some snacks. Um, so this wait a minute. Hold, hold on, on. Hold on. Like, hold on. This hold is on. at like three thirty. Yeah. When the party started at three o'clock. Yeah, yeah. And there's gonna be a ton of people there uh -huh. who are all really late. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I hadn't right. seen anybody yet. I'm like, well, where the hell is everybody? If uh, this is what we're doing here, and and then he finished it up with drinks. Oh, ice. Uh, and a cooler. And a cooler. <laughs> I was like, I kind of wish I would have known that because one thing I have an abundance of at my house is ice coolers. I've got coolers. a ton, close. ton close. of coolers. And so I'm like giggling, you know, I'm like chuckling or whatever. And Lizzie's just kind of going with it. And we're like, all right, fine. You know, so we go to Walmart, which Lizzie just having a time. She goes, oh, it's a really nice Walmart, you know, trying to just, be, just, just keep me. So I'm just sitting there giggling, you know, and I'm like, trying to keep you from losing your shit is what she's doing. <laughs> so we go there. I'm like, well, what does he need? He said he wants some drinks. What? Yeah. He needs a 24 pack of Mountain Dew, a 24 pack of Sprite, a 24 pack of Dr. Pepper. I'm like. You know, okay, and she goes, and then like one of those big, a couple cases of water. I'm like, 
You probably know the feeling, sweaty, fast breathing, quick heart rate. That's a cortisol spike. It feels awful, and its imbalance is the cause of your anxiety. Rebalance Health's three-part anxiety system helps address it at the root. Rebalance Health lozenges are natural and designed for optimal absorption, providing 24-hour relief. Live life fully without feeling like you're fighting for it. Get 50% off your first month with code CALM23 at rebalancehealth.com. This holiday, instead of giving them something nice, why not gift them somewhere nice? During the IHG Hotels and Resorts Cyber Sale, you can do just that and save. Shopping is easy in the IHG One Rewards app, where you'll save 20% on travel across 6,000 plus global destinations. And if you want to gift yourself somewhere nice, go ahead. You'll earn more and save more during the cyber sale. Check out all the deals at IHG.com backslash cyber sale. Terms apply. Jeez, how many people are coming? You know what I mean? I'm, so I'm just chunking this shit. In the, I'm chunking this shit in the cart. And they're all late too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... As we get all this crap, I go, oh, wait, I got to get the damn cooler. I go, well, I was like, well, babe, there's lots of coolers here. Do you want like a $100 cooler or, you know, all this stuff isn't going to fit in a little styrofoam cooler. So you have to pay, you yeah, have to pay no, a couple no, bucks. Yeah. Well, I found one that's like, holds like 76 cans and was like $29 or whatever. So as I'm about to just knock over the whole display to knock it down because it's on top of the drinks at Walmart. Right. Uh, this guy is rolling by on a cart. He goes, hey, you want to borrow this? This will get it down for you. And it's a cane with the little four, the, the claw on the bottom. I go. I guess I was just going to throw them on the floor. He goes, no, nah, I don't do that. You know, whatever. I go, all right. <laughs> and so I go to grab it. I go, well, watch out, bud. It, it might fall. And you're sitting right behind me. Hell, it might hit me, might hit you or whatever. He goes, no, nah, you're good. You're good. And so I go, okay. <laughs> this guy, this guy's got confidence in me. I was like, all right, fine. He's got so much faith in you. He has no idea who you are. Because if he did, <laughs> he'd, get the he'd, hell be out of- miles, he'd be five miles down the way. <laughs> just waiting to hear the crash. And so, yeah, no, he, I got it down. Wiggled it out, and then I go, okay, well, oh, babe, let's not forget the ice. We need the ice, you know, as we're walking out. We get out of there, and as we're pulling away, you know, he goes, yeah, we got all the, we got the meat and all kind of stuff. And then I was like, oh, okay, cool. I was like, babe, did did he get the, the charcoal for the grill? S- someone has to cook this shit. She goes, no, no, I don't think he did. I go, oh, shit. And I was like, there's a Lowe's right there as we're driving off. I go, let's go to Lowe's. So we go into Lowe's, and... <laughs> We get in there. She goes, yeah, let's get let's get some charcoal. Oh, yeah, don't forget the grill. I go, what the fuck did you say, a grill? Did you say I need to buy a grill? But she goes, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I go, oh, God. I'm about to burn the place to the ground. Like, I'm just, like, this close. Because if I get a grill, I'm getting, I'm getting propane because it's going to take a while for that crap to cool down before I can go home if I'm doing charcoal. Like. <laughs> so I was like, did anybody happen to see that there's a grill at this place, at the, the place where we're at? Cause I don't know. I didn't see one. And so she goes, ah, I'm sure the one's there. I'm sure one's there. I go, okay, that's fine. It's a so, park, right? You, you, you drove all this way to this park for this barbecue. Obviously there's like a big, nice, fancy grill there. Right? Like, <laughs> you know what? Funny enough. Yes. That we found the okay. grill. There's a big, like three tier or three thing grill. So anyways, we get there as we're going in, I'm like, okay, so let's, here's this. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get a scrubber. Let's get utensils. Let's get the, the 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 spatula. I go. Let's get accelerant. Yeah, because you know he doesn't have that. I I, I got accelerant. I got uh, starter fluid. I got the cubes. I got everything you need. I pretty much brought a party with me in a car. Like I had everything I needed. And so, as we're sitting there, we're walking up, we're unloading this stuff. Finally, he had a, he had another family member that was there. Her family. Uh, he's like, yeah, we've been here for like two hours. I go, oh man, that sucks. Sorry, you know. That's yeah, not- I've been shopping. You know, spending money on this event. Yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's just shelling out money like it's crazy but anyhow so then we finally get up to the damn thing he, we unload everything go up there and they fi- they see the grill and go, okay good and i go did anybody happen to notice notice the sign and they're like what sign i go it says pavilion is reserved oh by the way alan it's five o'clock five fifteen at this point <laughs> two hours and 15 and, minutes later he's not no he's not one, there and you and one other person is there yeah yeah well i know the son other son showed up and so he's there with us. And so we were unloading all this shit. And so I was like, all right, well, so there's a sign, Pavilion Reserved at 6 p.m. I go, holy shit, they got like 45 minutes to throw a party, and they ain't even here yet. And Did so they I'm like, have it reserved at 6 p.m.? Someone had it. It wasn't them. Okay, I was going to say, please tell me it was them. And they <laughs> told you guys 3 o'clock, and they didn't have it reserved until 6. <laughs> Bro, I would have left. How about them Chiefs, Billy Joe? The Chiefs drafted a kid out of North Richland Hills, Texas. Oh yeah! This, in the second round, the receiver, wide receiver that they drafted, 
what was from Richland High School, right down the road from me, from North Richland Hills, in the same same city I live in. That's your new favorite player. You're gonna get a little jersey action. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I don't. I, don't, I gotta remember the guy's <laughs> name. It's like R- R- Ricey Rice or something like that. That's his name. It's not Ricey Rice, but it's like Rasheed Rice or I don't know. Oh, Jesus man. Christ! And so. All right, so I'm like, all right, F, we're gonna we're gonna light the grill. We're just gonna we're gonna light it. We're gonna act like you know because get this thing going. So me and Jacob sitting there. I mean, I put I put Was a the whole grill under the pavilion, one step away, so it's not underneath. It's a huge pavilion. So okay, it's, it's, so it's not part of the pavilion rental, as far as I'm concerned. It's not under it. Eh, yeah, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> and so yeah, we I put like a whole bottle. I put two. We put two bags of charcoal, a whole bottle of uh, starter fluid. And cubes. I mean, we damn almost blew the fuck blew the thing up. Like, like I almost Clark Griswold that damn thing. Like from like European Vacation. Well, he's just right. he just keeps going. Oh my god, it was crazy. You can see the flame for miles. The smoke was like crazy. You know, whatever. And then anyway, so they showed up shortly after, and it's like five thirty, and I'm like, all of a sudden there's like forty five people. And I'm like, the forty five people get out of like two cars, and I was like. I don't know. And so I can't make this judgment because I have no idea. And then I just ask, uh, which table is the food going to be placed at? Because I want to sit there. They did sit. uh, We were we had the um, the other table, where the presents and the snacks and all that other stuff was. And then we were at the table uh, next to that. And then they piled into the other two tables, which were closer to the grill. So I assume it was probably they're just plopping (laughs) fruit uh, food in front of these people. So, oh, my God, dude, I was like. I was kind of chuckling, but I looked at Liz. I go, I don't think I'm ever doing this again. I was like, I don't know. I was like, this is insane. And, but his dad showed up like two hours late. He goes, yeah, I know him. He goes, I, I wasn't coming out here on time. And I was like, what the hell was that? Uh, my computer's making noises. Next best receiver named Rice? Maybe. Could be. Maybe. So, yeah, Maybe dude. a better one. I, I got home at like... 7 30 man i mean it was late i was gone forever it was an hour and a half to get out there an hour and a half to get back luckily the weather was gorgeous and you know jacob went and bought like a, he goes you got any beer i go no nah, man i didn't bring no beer I'm, I'm tired from drinking all night you know whatever <laughs> i got an hour and a half drive after this I ain't got- <laughs> and so he went and got he's like i'm gonna go get a 12 pack go, all right and so he's he's feeding me beers while i'm sitting there and so i'm hanging out i'm hanging out and talking to their dad and stuff like that because we're pals and we sit there and just we kind of gravitate to one another because at least we know who each other are. We're not like weirdos. J- Jacob, Jacob and Junior's dad. Yeah, and okay, so yeah, nice guy. yeah, I met him that, that one year at the birthday party. Hell of a nice guy. And so we just sit there and we always talk. Like it's us just b bs and bullshit and talking about this, talking about that, and these crazy ass right. kids and everything else. And oh my god! But bro, when I tell you I got home, I was like, I was so ready to be effing home. I was so ready to be effing home. I was like sulfur effing springs. I almost. I almost like flat went out and just flattened our tires when she told me the address. I was like, I go, do you know, how, you know how far that is? I go, hell, we're passing his effing house. I was like, boy, oh boy, I don't know. It's a long story, but there you go. It's it, I kept it's we're only twenty three minutes in, but yeah, Jesus yeah, Christ, cool. no, I had a hell of a weekend. I you know, so I had a birthday party Sunday that I went to the. The youngest, uh, one of her teammates on her softball team had a birthday. It actually got postponed. It was supposed to be last weekend because it was a pool party. Oh. Right? It was supposed to be last weekend, but it was like 50 degrees last weekend and, and raining on Sunday. So they postponed it to this weekend. Sunday afternoon, we had practice Sunday afternoon. But after practice, we had the, the pool party about 3.30. Th- uh, gorgeous weather. It was like 84 they uh they have a heater in their pool so that the, they had heated up the pool the day before so it would be it wouldn't be freezing cold and uh he was like yeah come on out you know we'll have drinks we're gonna have pizza pool party all that cool show up and uh you know we get there kiddo's doing her thing and he goes uh you want a beer i got some beer over here i'm like okay walk over there and he's got a he's got a kegerator with two two spouts and right next to each spout is what beer is in there. Mm. Uh, on on your left hand side, you had from Hoppensting Aluminum Cowboy. Oh, and on your right hand side, you had from Manhattan uh, Project Beer. Um, I can't remember. The, it was one of their hazy their hazy IPA. And I was like, oh, he's like, if you like a beer, I was like, don't mind if I do. So I 
knock back some aluminum cowboys and then you know we're sitting there drinking we got the rangers game on the tv you know rangers are winning 15 to 3 or whatever it was good times with that next thing you know hey pizza's here awesome oh yes get some pizza drinking beer having a great time six o'clock six thirty rolls around all right time to go Oof. and and it was like five minutes away from my house too that's so. the dream man that that's the dream right there and it was the, gorgeous it was gorgeous bro, this weekend it was so gorgeous yeah like and it's just a bunch of us softball dads sitting around drinking beer bsing you know that's one thing that i've learned is is the softball dads like we've had several of these parties whether they're birthday parties or end of the season parties and things like that and it's like the first time you go to the house you're like you're not really sure what type of party it's going to be mm-hmm. but everyone i've shown up to they're like uh yeah so we got some you want some beer i got a whole fridge full of beer or i got this on tap or there's only one where they told me they told us like in advance like hey if you guys want to drink beer you're more than welcome to bring some so at that time i had a bunch of the uh adios mofo no not adios yeah adios mofo and I took that with me, and that was the party I showed up to where they had the uh, – what's that beer that we love um, that we get at the den? Oh, the Colombian uh, – or uh, Costa Rican beer, Imperial. Yeah, Imperial. Yeah, I show up, and he's got a whole fridge full of Imperials. I'm like, this is going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> no one has that beer. No one has that Dude, beer in their house. He He had a whole fridge full. It's his favorite beer. And I even told him, I go, Dude. The, the den out in uh Euless. we go out there off 157 he's like where's this bar at and i'm like oh it's here between here and here he goes i know exactly where you're talking about and like a week later he texts me he's like hey man just hit up the den they had some imperials for two bucks a pop i was like told you bro when they when they did that when we found out they had imperials and it was one of those nights where we're just walking to like what's the specials we go well we got this we got that and then we have, i mean we have two dollar imperials i go come on man let's go it's like <laughs> That's like you're at a bar and you can do two dollar beers. I'm in two dollar whatever it is. Yeah, I remember I used to go to Sparks and get buck fifty PBRs. Like, uh, yes, I'm in. I was at some <laughs> casino when they were doing that or whatever. I remember somebody. It was a long time ago when we were doing all our giveaways or whatever. And I mentioned I was like we were at a casino in, in Cincinnati or in Ohio or Indiana. Might have been Indiana. And they had like PBRs for a buck fifty, the tall boys too, or whatever. I was like, yeah, oh, give yeah. me, you know, just keep them coming. They're like, yeah, you know, but I'm like, what are you talk, don't talk, don't talk <laughs> crap about beer. Two, you're at a casino and it's a buck fifty. You're at anywhere and it's a dollar fifty. I'm in. And, and you be careful. PBR is a damn good beer, sir. Ain't bad. Damn. Especially for a buck fifty. We actually talked about that uh, the last time I went to Kentucky too, because I was like, because that was the night where I really poured it on. And I was hanging out of the car on the way home because I was a little under the weather. Yeah. And we got pulled over. Fifty beers. What do you expect? We got pulled over by a state. And he goes, you know, well, you know why I pulled you over, right? He goes, yeah, him. <laughs> he goes, he gets a little car sick. <laughs> the guy with the pinwheel hanging his head out the car, going, wee, wee. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's like that damn piglet. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, dude, I'm all in. On, I'm all in on that. It, I don't, I don't, I never understood. i never understood the, the beer bashing. I've, there's something that's never cr- came to my mind. Um, even when I was, I mean, hell, back in the day when we were drinking like Bud Light, Coors Light, Mill Light, and you know, I still drink my Mill Light's my go-to beer. And it's, it's like, I never got, I guess, to a point in like my craft beer life where I'm like, just looking down. It's uh what do people always call it? Like uh horse piss or something like that. Piss beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piss and I'm water, like, yeah. okay. Like it, one, how do you know what piss tastes like? I mean, if but if you're into that kind of stuff, does it really taste like piss? <laughs> but if you're into that stuff, you would be into the piss, right? Like you would love this beer, I would assume. Uh, no, it, w- it was funny. Like when we were sitting there Sunday at the party, and the one guy's wife came over. He's just like, "Hey, make sure you're you're drinking water." He goes, "I am." You know, I'll I'll have a couple of the hazies and I'll hydrate with the aluminum cowboy. <laughs> I mean, the fact that he's got that now, I know if Ray was in here or something, he'd come in here and say something negative about, a, you know, a Hoppets thing or something. But let me tell you something. Hoppets thing, they're really nice people out there. We like their beers. And then also the uh, the Aluminum Cowboy is super light. So that, that was for people who were looking to stay on the lighter side. It's lighter ABV. It's lower carbs and things like that. They created that. And they had the yeah. seltzer going on at the same time, too. 4.5% alcohol by volume. I think it is. I think it's real low. Uh, old school. I like the Yingling Flight 4.2 ABV, 95 calories. 
I mean, you, you can't go wrong. Yeah. You can't go wrong with that at all. And it's the that's the competing beer against Michelob Ultra and, you know, and things like Between aging and busy lifestyles, many women struggle with maintaining their physical and mental wellness. At Aquavita Concierge Healthcare Services for Women, we can help you revitalize your health and reclaim your life. We start from within by balancing your hormones, allowing your body to achieve and maintain desired weight goals. We also specialize in peptide therapies, regenerative medicine, sexual health, and aesthetics in our state-of-the-art facilities. Feel better, look better, live better at Aquavita. Visit aquavitality.com and begin your journey today. Looking for a fun way to win 25 times your money this football and basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash play100 and use code play100. That's code play100 at prizepicks.com slash play100 for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. That So, yeah, it's going to be super light, and it's going to be, those are the beers that you drink when it's hot outside and it's ice cold. You want it, you want it ice cold. Or it's just kind of it's just refreshing, right? I'm not sitting there trying to chew through some double barrel imperial stout pastry, you know, double chocolate pastry stout. Nothing against those beers either. I like those in the winter time. I'm just not going to drink them when it's 105 outside. It, it, it's just crazy. Like like for me, like I didn't I didn't start drinking until I, was, I think I was like 22, maybe 23 was like first time I had a beer and it was a Bud Light. And I really enjoyed it. The, the first sip, I was like, oh, that's that's pretty damn good. And it's just been go since then. Mm. But like shortly after I got into beer, I started discovering craft beer. So I've all, almost always been into like craft beers and things like that. But I've also always been like we went to a house party. I didn't show up with a six pack of something. I showed up with a dirty 30 of stones. Like I'm going to this party to get effed up. I'm bang for my buck. Right. Like I went to I went to Edge Fest one year and had like hospitality suite tickets and we go up there and it's free beer up there. And it's like, awesome. What do you have? I went with Budweiser. I went more bang for my buck. You know, I went with the higher ABV beer because we got there a little bit later. Wasn't gonna be able to drink for as long. So it was like, I need to get effed up now. Give me two Budweiser's. I miss Edge Fest so much. I thought about that the other day, too, because I think um, Stroke 9 or something came on, like through the, the the Pandora or something, and it took me right back to, like, 1999. I was like, oh, my God, it was such a great – Edge Fest was awesome from what I can remember through, like, 95 through 99, maybe even to 2000. I don't know if I went too many times after 2000, 2001, but, oh, boy, what do we got here? Uh, yep, two different mindsets on life versus craft. You can have a light craft beer. You can have a light craft beer. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it, anything from a local brewery is a craft beer, right? So aluminum cowboy is a craft beer. Yeah, even it, uh, Nada from Community. That's that doesn't even have yeah. alcohol in it. So, yeah, I, I never got yeah. I never got into that, and I I never have a taken part of bashing beer. Now I'll bash yeah. beer like the way it tastes, and I don't like it or this and that, or or I'll make fun of people who overhype stupid shit and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm I'm in on that, but I'm never gonna belittle anybody for what they like to drink. Like just you straight drink up belittle. What you drink. Like whatever you, whatever you like to have, like me, like a lot of times it's, if I'm out somewhere, it's, if I'm going to be drinking, drinking, what do you got on special? Right. Mm. I'm not going to sit there and get trashed off of $12 beers. Right. But if I can go ahead and get a $2 beer, I'm in, you know, whatever you get, well, tell me your specials. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? I, I want to know the specials. I'm like, hey, I'm just going to have one or two beers. Let's see what you have. Uh, I'll, I'll have something a little bit different, you know, different times call for, different measures you know move. uh i am a on a blue moon trend and then move to the larger side. yeah i like blue moon i've, I've enjoyed blue moon old school uh, blue I don't, moon i don't orange i don't fruit it but uh what's their light beer there there is it sky or something like that what's their uh blue moon yeah, has sky. a uh, a lighter beer it's super low card low cow they come in the skinny cans it yet. We've, it's, um, it's sky i think if i'm if i'm correct yeah 
I thought you've I had it with me, but yeah, no, I had it. I went through like a couple uh, cases because really? it was just something random, and I think we bought a, I bought did. a couple of them. Maybe we did, and it was just one of those nights where I'd already had a few, uh-huh. so I don't remember. Let's see. Yep, it's a uh, light sky. So they come in those little skinny packs. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, I can picture it on the shelf. You know what I saw today for the first time? I saw uh, Dos Equis has a NA, a zero percent beer. They got that, and they have a new super low carb beer that they just put out. I think Orle, uh, Orlo, Orle, or something like that. Um, they they put that out, and it it looks pretty good. You know, like even with Corona, Corona's put out a super low carb beer. They put out seltzers and things like that. And you know, you you talk about there's some, there's some nice, and you know, I'm not saying healthy. I'm I'm just saying better options for you out there. Hey, look. Everybody's trying to get into that swimsuit. It's that time of the year, you know. Modelo has one too. Yeah, that's yeah, so what we we're talking about. Yeah, Modelo or Orlo or Oro. So, yeah. So yesterday, I sent you a picture. I was like, "Should I buy this beer?" Mm-hmm. I replied, and, and "You did, you did." But I, I want to talk about this because I was bamboozled, bamboozled even. Oh, were you? So I saw it there, and where were it you had, at? It had a Best Buy. I was at an antique mall that I'm at. Okay, that's what I figured. It no, looked like I, it was, I, a, I was not a not a was, not a business. Yeah, I was working one of my. I have to work, you know, at this specific antique mall. I have to do four hours a month there, um, working as part of having a booth there. Right. I show up and it's a two hour shift. You do two two hour shifts. You show up and you just walk around. If anyone needs help, you help them out. If they need someone to uh, get into one of the lock cases, I go and get the key, let them in, take the items up front, things like that, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's just, you know, just walking around for two hours. And while I'm doing it, I'm, I'm checking out all the booths and things. And so I see this from um, Harpoon Beer. It's a Celtic beer. And it said Best Buy, like May 6th of 2011. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and so I grab it and I'm kind of looking at it. I'm like, okay, there's, is it empty? Nope. It's, it's got something in it. I'm like, all right. And I text you. I was like, should I buy this? And you're like, yes. And, uh, I thought you were at a beer it. store. <laughs> I wasn't, I, I kind of wish I was, yeah. uh, but I wasn't. And so <clears throat> excuse me. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll go ahead and get it. Uh, but I, I didn't get a chance to buy it that day. Cause I had to, I had to hurry up and leave afterwards. So I went by today and I went, I grabbed it. I pick it up and I look at it. And I look at the top and I go, fuck. It had a Dos Equis cap on the top. Oh, it's been recapped. Did something else in there? It's probably like water or something like that. Like, oh, God. And so I was like, ah, so I put it back on the shelf and just walked away dejected. So we do not get to have a 12-year-old beer, which I'm super sad about. Like I, I'm not, I like I was so upset. Snowman, what is going on, brother? What's up, Snowman? Hope as well. Hope you're doing good, man. But yeah, yeah so I you know what it's kind of weird though that you know selling a bottle of beer in an antique mall. I guess it's, I, I thought that too, but I was like, oh, but it's like 12 years old, right? Yeah. Like God. they could probably get away with it like that. But and then I saw that I grabbed it and when <laughs> I picked it up today, the first thing I noticed was the Dos Equis. Mm. Uh, beer cap. I was like, ah, damn it. Unbelievable. Uh, I think there's time better than now. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about what some upcoming shows that we got going on. Now, everybody is aware that uh, Baseball with Alan, it's a weekly show. Is it weekly, bi weekly? What are you doing there? It, 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 weekly right now, but like, if I want to put out another episode, I'm going to put out another episode. How's that sound? Well, we're creating so, a baseball channel for Strikeout Beer, even though Strikeout, we whatever. We created it, right? It's already a thing. Uh, it's created, but it's not published because we don't know what content we're going to put on there yet. It's just there. It's waiting, waiting for us to uh, to start doing things. Well, but yeah, I'm but putting my episode on there for tomorrow, right? It's there. So yeah, all you got to do is it's pop. It's out yeah. there. You just need to look at it and make right. sure that it's. I, I've seen it. You seen it? Okay, as long as you can see it, that's fine. So, so I just need to put my episode on there tomorrow. Yeah. So strikeout beer. It's SB Baseball. That's the name of the channel. That's where all our baseball specific content's going to go. Same thing with football. We're going to have a specific fantasy football channel. Now, listen, the strikeout beer channel is not going anywhere. Don't worry. No. This channel is still going to be here, and and if we want to produce, you know, video content, it's going to come here. It's going to go on Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, 
You said Twitter and Twitch. That, yeah. That's a real thing. It's going to go, the video is going to go here, but we're trying to do more audio only and uh, to pack, you know, pack in the house on all the other, you know, just all the, wherever you stream your favorite podcast and least favorite podcast for that matter. But yeah, so we have a baseball channel. I already went and preemptively started the, the Texas Rangers one because it's so specific to the Texas Rangers. But yeah, that's there. I subscribe to it today. Thank you. It's everywhere you get your podcast. It is. I listened to it on Spotify today. But the baseball channel is going to be Alan's show. We're going to do a collab show once, if hopefully once a week. And it's going to be either Monday nights or Wednesday nights. We're going to release that probably on Fridays, to be honest with you. If there's any other time to release it, it's probably going to be Friday morning. And, you know, I think this week, if you want to start getting into the grid of things, I say we start doing unwritten rules. Revisit that. Talk about unwritten rules of baseball. and But, yeah, you cover just whatever topic pump comes in your head. That's what, so yeah, talking baseball with Alan is just whatever grabs my attention, you know, um, different things. I, I talked about Trevor Bauer last week. Um, I talked about the Tampa Bay Rays, you know, when they were still undefeated. Uh, I talked about uh, overzealous umpires, essentially, which I've got a follow up to that story, which I'll be talking about because MLB came out with something, uh, which I'm assuming is was in reaction to my podcast about it. But, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> But you, you had the, the instance of, just to fill you in, you had the instance where you had um pitch clock violation called against Cody Bellinger because he stepped out of the box because he was getting a standing ovation and was acknowledging the crowd. Mm-hmm. His first time back in L.A. Um, and the umpire called a pitch clock violation. As opposed to at the beginning of the season, earlier in the season, when uh, Andrew McCutcheon took his first at-bat at uh, PNC Park there with uh, in Pittsburgh, He got a standing ovation. He stepped outside, acknowledged the crowd, had a full like minute and a half, very emotional moment. And the umpire didn't do nothing. He just sat there and let the moment happen. As opposed to this other jerk who called the pitch clock violation. (laughs) And it wasn't even that long. That one wasn't even that long. Like he, you know, he stepped up, acknowledging the fans. He He steps into the box. One second later, he still wasn't, he didn't like look up and, no, oh, pitch clock strike. Jesus, Cody Bellin just looks at him and is like, "All right, bro, all that's right. cool." Yeah, all right, bro. <laughs> can you do one on how bad a team can possibly be? Use my rules for yeah. We can do that. I so I actually recorded last week. I haven't released it yet. I'm going to release it tomorrow. Um, so some of the information is a little bit out of date, but talking about the one that will be released tomorrow is talking about how bad the Oakland A's are and are we watching the worst team in baseball history. Possibly, yeah. Right I'm now. I'm going to check that out. Now, go ahead and release that on Strikeout Beer, and then tomorrow I'm going to move all your episodes over to the baseball channel, and then we're going to okay. we're going to publish and, and, and submit it to all the other different networks because we almost get auto-approved at this point, right? We've put out so much content, yeah. and our content is pretty decent. Like, not great, right? It's, but it sounds good. And and things like that, right? We know we kind of know what we're doing. Old school, your royals, your royals are not worse this year, brother. Nah. They are not. Nah. So I need put, to break it to you. Put that out on strikeout beer, and we're going to share that. And the link that I just shared is from Spotify. It's for the Ranger Roundup, and then we'll have the strikeout beer or, or the SB Baseball link. It'll be put out here in the upcoming weeks. It's just a way to simplify things, right? We still want this show to be a party show, like strikeout beer right here, as you see it. This is our Monday show, our live show, our our, our Wednesday show. It's what we're all about. But the other stuff is more content to reach additional viewers or, or listeners and things like that. That is specific to that genre, right? So it, it's specific to that genre. It's specific to to that, and they're shorter too. That's a big thing. Like we're keeping these somewhere between ten and fifteen minutes. Um, on occasion, you might get one that's a little bit longer, but we're sticking right there around that ten fifteen minute range. Uh, just something quick, hitting you with some some information. The, um, the football, the the fantasy football ones, that'll go a little bit more extended, yeah, uh, just hey. because of the nature of it. When we start doing our rankings, or we do a show like a you know a draft show or something like that, or whatever, don't worry though. If we, you know, if we're doing it live here, we still might publish it on that other channel or this channel. But you'll see video from time to time. But just know that you know we're doing like multiple things. Yep, and, and also another one I released the first episode this last week. Uh, there will be a separate channel for this. It's gonna be Talking Lions with Alan, uh, Detroit Lions podcast which I'll do some solo stuff, but I'm also going to do some stuff with rapid Dave on that as well. Um, so it's going to be a little bit, a little bit of both. I did my breakdown after day one of the, the NFL draft. I do have my breakdowns of day two and day three coming up. I might combine the two. 
um, into one. But I, I do have some stuff I'm going to talk about that with the Lions draft, as well as I'm going to get into. I'm going to have a whole little episode dedicated towards the DeAndre Swift trade um, and, and talking about that and my thoughts on that. Um, so those will be coming out, at least two episodes coming out this week for Talking Lions, the, the draft breakdown, as well as the DeAndre Swift. Those will be two separate ones. So. Keep your head on a swivel because we got a lot coming at you. All right, real good. What do you think about this beer? I just poured my I'm second glass. I'm about halfway through my second glass. I, I'm really enjoying it. This is a nice IPA. Um, doesn't have a ton of bitterness, but it has that IP th- IPA taste to it. Uh, that citrusy taste that you get with all the, those combinations of hops that they have. Um, borderline really smooth like for an ipa it's looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season test your skills on prize picks the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports just select two or more players pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats and place your entry it's as easy as that if you have the skills you can turn ten dollars into 250 dollars with just a few taps Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash get100 and use code get100. That's code get100 at prizepicks.com slash get100. For a first deposit matchup to one hundred dollars, Prize Picks Daily Fantasy Sports made easy. Smooth, I'll say that. Um, but but pretty damn good. I'm gonna say this: There's no way. There's no way IBUs. You know what I mean? Just because, um, right? They just they just put NA there. But uh, it, it is. I agree with you. It's it's juicy. Like it it is juicy. Very juicy. Yeah. So. Hey, old school. Take a look at the uh, plus minus on that the run differential that's the big selling point for how bad oakland is this year yeah i mean they're giving up they're going to they're going to vegas and we're going to talk about that i mentioned it in one of my shows as well we're gonna we're gonna talk about how oakland's heading to vegas the the a's are heading to vegas and i can't wait Uh, i'm gonna have to get me a a damn a's jersey now and a a's hat (laughs) I, i talked about that a little bit um in this in this episode so i i did address that about them moving because this was right after i recorded it last week I think I might have recorded it last Sunday. Um, at the time, the the Oakland was four and twenty one or something like that. So they've gone two and two since I've released that. So I was sitting there uh, like my shorts half ass hanging off of me, like just hung over as all get out, like with a breakfast sandwich in my hand. I'm like, what? They're going to Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there watching the news and stuff. Oh my god, I was so, dude, I was so hung. I don't know what is wrong with me yeah. lately. Yeah. Look at that old school. There's there's your huge difference as to why Oakland's worse than the Royals are. That negative one seventeen. Yep. They're on pace for like negative seven hundred this year. Yeah. It's absurd yeah. the pace that they're on this year. And there's, uh, I want to say there's no way they can stay at that pace, but you never know, man. You know, I, so on TikTok or whatever, TikTok or and uh, YouTube, like all those Billy Bean, like uh, the movie, like Moneyball, is trending. It's all over my TikTok. And that's all it is. Like they know we're watching baseball, and they know we're talking about the A, so they're just feeding it, they're feeding it through, man. Oh, my God. So I'll sit there and watch it, though. I, it's interesting okay. stuff. Sometimes I sit there and watch it, and then I click on the page that it's coming from, and I keep watching them until I, like, caught up. I'm like, man. Meanwhile, I could just fire up the movie and watch the movie. I'll tell you what else got me this week, especially this last weekend, the, the last week, uh, draft day. Draft day got you? Oh, so many draft day clips are firing, and I watch them all. I'm a sucker. It's, I'm a sucker for it. It's been everywhere. And so with us being baseball guys, yeah, we were watching. But I've got baseball on right now. You watch all day. You know, we're sitting there sending te- uh, text messages back and forth. You know, Kuna got plunked today. I heard his shoulder. You know, he oh, left. I hadn't, see, I hadn't seen what happened from then, but it, we I had two day games today. Uh, the A's played a doubleheader today. So I saw uh, the last half of the first game uh, before I realized there was a game. And then I watched the first part of the second game. But like, I, I'll text you. I get pissed when there's no day games. Like, I find, especially on like a Friday. Like, that's when it really gets me. Like a Tuesday, okay. 
you get a pass, right? But not having a Friday day game, what are you doing, MLB? Come on. Let and people play hooky. Give people a reason to skip out on work on Friday. Like That's all we're looking for. Come on. That's all we're looking come for. Come on. I need more baseball. I need more day games because that's when I really get to sit down and watch is the day games. I'll catch them later night. But the problem is, like, it's not like it, it was. It's been years past where you could fire up, fire it up at like 10 o'clock and you still got several games going on. Yeah. The games are so short right now that you, there's you might catch like the last inning of the late game. And you're like, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, I remember there's like I used to pull the, you know, the TV out to the, the pool and stuff like that. We'd have everything sitting right yeah. there. And I'm like, I can watch baseball till midnight. Well, not anymore. We'll see. We'll see how the summer treats us. But yeah, no, I know. I, you're looking like 1030. <laughs> you know? It's so ridiculous. And that's that's because you got it. It's an eight o'clock start. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it, you know, it's six o'clock over on the West Coast, right? It's a six o'clock game over there. You got an eight o'clock start here. You're 10, 10 30. Mm-hmm. And that's it. You know, you just, ah, oh, man. Jeez. But this week on Strike Up Air, uh, 7 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday, we're hoping to have Alan or uh, Ryan come over. Hopefully get Boner over here uh, to have some fun. Some beers, they're TBD right now. I don't know what beers we're going to have. I don't know. We're waiting to see kind of what we pick up. I almost bought a, uh, uh, there's a couple different mixed 12 packs that I saw, but I was like, so. we've had a couple of these. And I'm like, I don't want to go back to the well. One of them was, I think, Shiner. And they had six beers to each. I've never seen it before. And I was like, all right. Well, I've had most of these beers, but it's still fun to have the their summer pack. Is it a family reunion pack? Uh, it had sea salt, uh, ruby red. It had a black lager too that I wanted to try, which I usually only drink black lagers in like September, October. So, okay. but yeah, it looked so, good. So let me throw this out there because I'm I'm planning on on Wednesday, uh, the kiddos got a field trip to the Pro Museum that I'm that I'm going to, and they don't have they they only have like a limited number of space, so the parents aren't riding on the bus there, so I got to drive there. Yeah. So I'll be in Dallas. So I'm planning on visiting a couple of breweries after the field trip because the field trip's over at like two or something like that, right? Okay. One thirty, two o'clock. So I'm planning on stopping by a couple of breweries. Should I grab some beers for the show Wednesday for wherever I go? Or it's up to you because as you uh so if you're downtown, you know, there as you're coming out there, there's at least community, there's outfit, there's uh Pegasus. Those are, two, those are two that I plan I really want to go to. I definitely want to go to outfit. I just got to double check and see what time they're open mm-hmm. community. I did double check and verify they will be open. Uh, Cause I think the last time, like I had the day off and I was going to go to community. It was like a day that they were closed or they didn't open up until like three o'clock that day or something like that. But I think they opened up at 11 o'clock on Wednesday. Right. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and I know some of you are wondering, cause we talked about it. The, and back in March, we did the uh, St. Patrick's day thing at uh, Harley Davidson in Carrollton Maverick, uh, Maverick Harley. And it outfit Bruins out there slinging, you know, free beer. Uh, I we totally plan on because you were in Vegas. Yeah, for I the, to- for the April one. I couldn't explain why I wasn't going to be there because I didn't want to ruin the surprise. I told Liz, she, you know, whatever, but it was a nice surprise. But yeah, this month I think we're going to be out there. So I, I, yeah, we should be out there this month. So it's the third weekend, second week, third. It's the third week. Third okay. It's the third week of the, the third Wednesday of the month. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely be out there for for, for this month. We plan on. We plan on doing it every month as long as they're doing it, right? Yeah. It's a nice thing for a pre-show for us. It's right down the road from your house. It's not far. So we don't we don't record the pre-show reviews, but we'll definitely record some reviews while we're while we're there. Like we recorded one while we were there. Maybe we just do them all out there. It's you a know? lot of fun. Because we had three we had three different beers last time. So mm-hmm. But yeah, you know, that'll do it. I think we're gonna finish up here. We got it. We're gonna be back. We're gonna be back uh we're going to record some content tonight, and then we're going to be back live on Wednesday. But definitely make sure, listen, make sure you have the noties turned on for all the, the all the stuff that we're putting out. And like I said, I, I shared the link for the uh, the Ranger Roundup. We have baseball or talking baseball with Alan. It's coming out on. It'll be on Strike Up Beer until we move it to the baseball site, and we will move it this week uh, along with other baseball content as well. And then we're going to start doing the fantasy football thing, and then Alan's got the uh, talking lines with Alan. So make sure you're checking out all like whenever you go and check out your wherever you stream your podcast from spotify our heart radio or whatever it says where it's coming from it doesn't say strike out anymore it says uh sports and beer podcast 
Click yep. on that. It will show you all of our podcasts. We have several. So go in there, like it, follow, subscribe, drop a review. If you hate us, just tell us you hate us. No big deal. That's cool. Yeah. I hate us most of the time. Let's <laughs> be honest. Um, <laughs> but I've actually, I'm, I'm actually already working on an idea for an episode that I might record this week. Um, for the fancy football podcast. Um, I want to go ahead and just get out there ahead of everything. And I want to talk about some of the top rookies for this year for, nice. for fancy football. So may, maybe that might be something we work on together or something like that, but I, I definitely want to just go ahead and just start. It's time. It's time, buddy. We got to start getting content out there. I'm super excited about football this season. Um, super excited about fancy football. All of it can't freaking wait. Uh, final thoughts on this beer that I just finished Mine. Big, big thumbs uh, up. Ho- ho- Holotropic Imperial Indian Pale Ale, ten percent alcohol by volume. Um, just really good. I mean, it, it gets the double thumbs up for me on this one. Mm-hmm. I'm really liking it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I, I'm excited. I got two more. You know, uh, I got I got the four pack on it. Um, really excited to have some more. That's, that's what I got on that. You big thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Go and get it and try. And you know what? I actually want to read this real quick before we leave. Because yeah, I'll turn to me before, before I I looked up the beer and when I clicked on it, I clicked on the brewery instead of the beer. Okay. And so when I first read this, I thought it was in relation to the the beer. All right. But then I noticed it was on the brewery. So Martin House typed something up. If you go to, if you go to Untapped mm-hmm. and look up Martin House, mm-hmm. um. They have a 3.79 rating Ooh. out of 584,076 ratings. Whoa. I have to say the rating because you go down and it says, ignore this and it little up sign pointing joke rating. Ah. Smiley face. We are best known for our fruited sours, big stouts, barrel aged beers and experimental stuff. But we, but we have many IPAs and beer flavored beers as well. Beer Come beer. visit the tap room; we'll take care of you. Cheers! Wow, I I, I just got a chuckle out of the, the out of that. Like it, it, I, especially the and beer flavored beers as well. We have beer flavored beers, which it, it's funny if you know about Martin House because they brew, you name it. They have a beer for it or if they didn't brew it. And then all everyone does is talk about how Martin house is pissed off. Cause they didn't do it like the Hormel chili beer. And they're like, people at Martin house are pissed right now because they didn't get to this one first. Like I was explaining Martin house to someone that doesn't know anything about beer. And they were just like, what I go. Yeah. They have a, uh, this flavored beer, pizza beer, hot cheese beer, uh, you know, whatever they go. Are you serious? I go. Yeah. And my, uh, my friends think it's hilarious that I have to try these things. So I don't know what to tell you. I go, they're not bad. <laughs> but then some of them are bad. Yeah. But on, on the level, like, like if you just go into like they're just normal, just not out, out of the box beers, just their normal straight beers like this one, yeah. right? Imperial Pale Ale, delicious. Just a really good beer. Uh, when they just brew just a re- – awesome. But I love – them going outside the box and brewing because we look forward to it. Right. We're like, Oh man, (laughs) got a nacho flavored taco beer. I got to get it. Like, I mean, we had, we had so much of that pickle beer because people were giving it to us and things like that, that we were getting rando people and like having them try to go, Hey, you I want you to try this beer, but I've got to record you trying it. Is that cool? And they're like, Oh yeah, totally. You know, they wanted it. It's like, it's like pickle juice. And so they were in, they're like, Jesus, man, we we had out so much pickle beer. It was nuts. It was, it was absurd. They've got another flavor of it coming out. Yeah, I can't remember it's, what it is, but it's pretty awesome. I want to say it's like watermelon. Yeah, pickle beer or something like that. Uh-huh. I, I I don't know off the top. Of my, I I don't remember, but I saw it. I either saw the post about it. No, I had to have seen the post because I had I seen it in the store. I I always buy it, like reg- I, regrettably too, like. I, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm on the record as not being a fan of the pickle beer, but I buy it every time to give it a try. Yeah. That's the new so. one. It is. 
Is it watermelon? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they had on their website or their, you know, Facebook and stuff like that. They put everything out there. Okay. All right, cool. But you know what, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. As always, I'm Alan. I'm Rapid Dave. Are you sure? I think so. Okay. All right. And I give this beer two thumbs up. I can neither confirm or deny that theory. Nor. Nor deny. That's what I said. Oh, I said said or. No, I said nor. Whores. Like like Norway, but without the way. Just the nor. Dude, does Soto suck at baseball or what? All right, we got to go. Hey, hey. That guy. We'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. Thanks for listening to Strikeout Beer. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.